Hi, in this class, we will discuss about the part 3 section of a meter signatures. Let us dive into this topic. Here, the part 3 of meter signatures, okay. Here, in the part 3 of meter signatures, what we will be looking at is, uh, we will be looking at the next concept called as a Anudrutam and a Dhruta Virama. So, what do you mean by Anudrutam and Dhruta Virama? So, if you have gone through the previous videos, okay, where I was discussing about a Suladi Saptatala system. So, in the Suladi Saptatala system, I was discussing about the concept of a Saptanga Chakram, isn't it? So, in this Saptanga Chakram, so, we discussed uh, these points, right, in the previous class, that is a, uh, in part 2 session, I discussed uh, Dhruta and uh, Lagu, okay. So, these two are well known now. Now, we will be looking at this one called as a, here, that is a Anudrutam okay, and Dhruta Virama, this one. Anudrutam and Dhruta Virama. So, let us see this point. Here, in this Anudrutam and Dhruta Virama, if you look at this Anudrutam and Dhruta Virama, so how to do this Anudrutam and Dhruta Virama? See, uh, actually, uh, it's like a single 1 by 4 model here. So, what do you mean by 1 by 4 model in case of a normal investment system meter signatures? So, we clap every time. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, like this, okay? So, in this Anudrutam is, so only the simple thing, that is uh, the downward clap with the open hand, with the palm facing downward direction. And in Carnatic music, this is represented as uh, the symbol U, okay. So, this is not normally U that generally we generally speak about. So, it's actually the legs of the U will be very, very high, like this it will be here, okay. So, that is, we do like this, okay, just one, one. So, this Anudruta means one beat. So, every time you play one beat, so that is called as a Anudrutam, okay. Then the next one is here, Dhruta Virama. So, the Dhruta Virama is a, it's a pattern where we combine three beats, okay. So, what are the three beats are here? So, it's also something like this, a notation pattern with the three beats. Okay, so we keep like this and zero. So it's like a zero. Okay, as I said here, this represents one bit, and that zero represents in the previous class. If you go through the previous class where I discussed this zero represents here, that is called as a drutam, right? So this uh, drutam means what? So here we have to clap once and uh, reverse the hand and then clap it like this okay so that is called as a drutam a pattern of two beats where the notation is represented as a o where the downward clap with the palm facing downward direction okay at the same time one more beat will come here followed by a second downward clap with the palm facing upward direction so now combine these three here combine these three beats so one two three one two three one two three okay so in saptanga chakra that is a sub here what we are looking at here is uh, in saptanga chakrams okay so anudrutam means one beat and a dhruta virama is three beats okay so these are the topic related to anudrutam and dhruta virama so, where we use this eh, Anudrutam and Dhruta Virama? See, uh, whenever we are designing some songs where you need to have a repetition or else what you want to have is, eh, you want to make a song go very fastly or else you want to design any folk songs. So, this sort of a lower beats and also a fast beats are very essential because the listener actually wants something like a catchy phrases. So, whenever you are designing a catchy phrases, or else at the end of the song you need to have some rhyming something like this so in that time this sort of a tala system is very very useful so i hope you understood 
regarding the concept of a anudrutam andruta virama in the concept of a this uh, meter signature part 3 we'll meet again so please do subscribe to my youtube channel press the bell icon and if you like it share the video and share with your friends bye